Testing, testing, testing. Okay. Back in the room. Hope this set of mods remains stable. Playing pretty much all day in offline campaign and uh, haven't had a crash yet, so. Pretty good. Although I do think I need to go through this mod list and trim, trim a few mods. Okay, let me just remind myself where we're at. We've been here for 10 days. The crops are going down now. Our little modular rooms starting to go down. I think I need to make sure that like this room and this room, our little bar barracks room, a quarter of each barracks room will be two toilets, two showers, and then we'll just chuck beds in there. I want to have toilets there and there. I don't want the pawns to have to go too far to have to go to toilets. I think that's a, a big, a big source of wasted time. Is this Dub's uh, bad hygiene mod, where your pawns walk around all over the place? Danny, uh, are you a not a night owl? Why are you still awake? But because she had to recover from sickness. Crafting and medical. Dobby, medical and... I think I'm the scientist of bunch who has to research. Definitely. The Bearborn. Griff is obviously all about plants and he's also about animals by the looks of things. Animals, that one. A cook and builder, actually, interestingly. Primary cook, secondary builder. Uh, builder and miner. Uh, miner. Any, why are you staying up all night? All oh, right, it's because she spent all her time in bed when she was sick. I wonder if it's worth training up all these animals as quick as possible. I'd need lots of raw meat and I'd need Griff to spend a considerable amount of time. Maybe once the crops are down. Hello, kitty cat. Hey, kitty. Here's the kitty. Hello. Oh, she was so scared earlier today. We had workmen around the house. She didn't like that one bit, did you, girl? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Hashtag production value. Uh, I'm gonna keep meals there. Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, fortunately, the uh, the issues didn't come really come near me, so thank goodness for that. How are we looking lumber wise? Nothing. It is busy drying out. Speed zero percent. I think that if I build the roof, then it should start drying out again, but it'll dry slowly. Uh, I'll give the animals. Yes. Good. Okay, good. See, it's 32% speed. Not ideal. Sunshine, wind. I suppose I can always take the roof down again. Raw meat rotting. Fine. We have. I might get the lads together and go shoot at all these bison, but if they attack us and all of them get aggressive, that could, like, wipe the colony out. Food wise, we have nothing. Okay, who's my cook? 
Good ass. And he's my hunter. Griff. Griff go hunt above all else. And Judas. Butcher and then cook above all else. Uh, turkey, tortoise. Um, considering how hungry we all are, let, let's go go grab that mega stealth real quick. I think shooting at a bison is going to be a trap. What's up, Wolfenau? Yeah, man, loving this game. Come on, boys. Oof, howie. Ah, these things are tough. There we go, thank goodness. Whew. Can't pick up too heavy. What? Someone haul that shit. Someone ought to go get it. Right leg and torso. Bad scratch. Medical nine. Probably is the better medic. I think we're all out of meds, aren't we? No, we're not. Good, 70% 10 quality. Excellent. Okay, so... We can get started with stone production now. Did I... I already moved to the stone chipping spot, didn't I? I think I did. Okay, so what are we going to be chipping? I think it's sandstone for the most part. Sandstone blocks and chunks right there. Uh, do until let's say 410. A limited radius. I want the stone cutter going too far. Stone cut obviously is Danny, who is not recovering. It was Griff who was hurt. Now did someone go fetch that mega sloth? Excellent, they did. Where is it? Goddess? Butcher and cook quickly. Simple meals. Yes, we can use meat. Now, where is he taking the meat? Okay, we don't want that there, so. No raw food there. Yeah, all. All roof, raw food there. Uh, hauling, consuming, cooking. Now Marden is obviously busy hauling, that's fine. I did give the order for everyone to focus on hauling. I'm gonna get those sandstone chunks chucked on that pallet so that the stone cutter doesn't have to go that far. The Battle Brothers music is a good fit for a lot of things. Great, great music. She hunt all these rats as well. I think the presence of rats increases the disease chance. I should actually go to bed now soon. 10 p.m. I think is the time everyone goes to sleep. Throne not usable. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, 
so now Danny should be chopping up sandstone chunks and dropping them straight there. In fact, we could actually just drop them on the floor because they're going to get used so quickly. Excellent. What's next? We're going to finish this stone cutting room. Then let's do the kitchen and even put the floor down. Get it as clean as there, as quickly as possible. What do we have here? Rough wooden heavy mace. Wooden heavy mace. So once we get a smeltery going, we can start smelting all of the iron and steel weapons and then we'll just smash the ones that are not steel or iron. Well, I suppose I could just leave them on a pallet and then make a shopping area. It is not Wolf and Iron, but I mean, you start with five, which is which is more than enough. If anything, starting with five can be a challenge because there's so many mouths to feed. But uh, we've managed to survive long enough to get most of our uh, staple crops down. We've got a nice big old field of hill root. We've got Psychoid. I think I might actually split the Psychoid field up. If it's 11, go... Might do smoke leaf instead. Half psychoid, half smoke leaf. And of course loads of cotton for making clothing. It's already summer, so it's gonna be getting very hot very quickly. Hostiles 0 0.1. Okay, so then modern okay, soldier. Let's see what it is. Soldier should be allowed to wear woven cloak if you have to. So the idea is we are going to hang on to all of the tainted armor. Like, I mean, even though this is poor, it's steel light plate armor. Should be putting it on, why wouldn't he? Did I set a hit points or... I mean, this is all better than nothing, these cloth gambesons. Oh, 10.8. No, they're just hauling now. Damn it. I think once the clothing is all sitting on a pallet, then they're much more likely to go change immediately. Danny is sewing. Fair enough. Let's see, growing. Danny, who's also our stone cutter. Griff, our hunter. Needs someone else to be stone cutting. It's kind of like it's become modern. You construct. If you can't construct, then you can stone cut. Be much of an issue for much longer. These fields are almost entirely sown. Salt is beginning. One lad with a bow. Let's put your clothing back on. wearing soft fur tribal ways wearing rubbish absolute rubbish last one Danny stone cold in stone cold now then I think I set this to be the textiles processing place, didn't I? Yeah, I wanted to build tanning vats there. Lumber's up to 89.
Let's see with this. The fact that it's summer, I think. Let's get a full potato crop in here, but then not replant. Not not replant potatoes at least. We, I think we can get corn in after that. Watch Griff run away. Okay, you got it. Whew. Loads of guinea pigs. What I would there we go. Uh, a nice horde of wild boar. And bear in mind the start of the last colony got taken out by a wild boar, but that's fine. Uh, so on here, clear all, critical, uh, fine meals. Here it is. Simple meal. Bobby needs to be the leader. Uh, new outfit. Chief. Let's clear all. So what do we have so far? We have tribal wear. Uh, tribal wear we have... The woven cloak. And we have the headdress for him to wear. And then we hopefully going to produce aprons and boots quite soon. Now why the hell aren't Modern and Jordas wearing their kind of woven clothing? I think that they don't like know it's there unless it's like sitting in a hauling zone or sitting on a pallet. I don't have to force them to wear it. There we go. Stone blocks coming along slowly. Are oh, these fields almost entirely sown? I reckon we can get two full cotton crops down. What is it? It is third of Jugust. Hmm. Growing time is how long for cotton? Eight days. Yeah, we can probably get two down. And all that cotton we're going to turn into toques and parkers for the winter. I, I much prefer the uh, cloaks, the pelt cloaks. They are a lot of work. Up average, right mate? You have two medicine left. No bueno. What time does the working day start? Seven. The smoke leaf is down. Why is the psychoid getting sown? Is this not Another two lads? What have they got? Just a knife. But just to remind myself where this stuff is, I put down a little ring around it. Everyone, just stay in the home area. I'm trying to get in the habit of keeping my lads in the home area when there's enemies on the map. Like, you don't want someone to go on a hunting trip, for example, and then blunder into the enemies out, out in the corner of the map. 
Stubby, put your bloody headdress on. What's the matter with you? There he goes. Alright. Fight. Oh god. Damn it. Good ass is hurt. Remember the lads are not wearing like any armor at all really. You gotta get, get yourself to the hospital bed so long. Careful boys! Oh god, Martin's gonna get hit. We should have moved the bowmen up. Bobby, tend, and oh, hey, kitty, kitty on my lap. Danny, what are you up to? Hauling sandstone chunk. Why are you not sewing the psychoid? Under allowed skill six. Okay, that's why. Where do you see the growing skill six? We do grapes. Do some grapes, I suppose. A bit of wine, get the wine going. I need to think about some armor. Maybe we just keep hunting animals and then we turn all the bones into some simple bone armor. Bone armor could be the quickest and easiest armor solution. Good, our freezer is coming along. I think I might even go like this. Let's go meat, important. Build another one of these right here in the middle, and we put raw meat here temporarily, so just so it can freeze. Cold crystal. I don't think I do have cold crystal. Uh, I need. Where's cold crystal? It's actually easiest to find it at night as it physically glows. There we go. Modern is my miner. Mining. Keeping on these fires. Some rain. Uh, finish up tomorrow, Modern. It's 1 a.m. Go get some sleep. Nothing looks like. Hunting is down to Griff. It's just me or the lads sleeping too much. No, it's only 6 a.m. Go 
God, there goes the raw meat. You know, forget the bloody tortoises. Just focus on the wild boars. Okay, he's done with it. Danny's having a food binge. Stobby is doing some hauling. Arden is sleeping. On, get your ass up. Finish mining. Uh, no, n no fantasy and magic. No. Uh, nothing beyond what the abilities that the royalty DLC gives you. I wanted to keep it low fantasy. The original mod list had dragons in it and spell casters and whatnot, which I don't, definitely want to try eventually. But I feel like I want to get a hang of this first. Also, have a feeling that um, like spell casting and magic and whatnot will be perfect once you have the ideology. So we can become like dragon worshippers, you know? I seem to recall that there is a scenario uh, where you start off with a single dragon egg and you have to perform some ritual to make the egg hatch and then you have uh, a dragon fighting for you, like the, the, old, the old mother of dragons scenario. Okay, good. So, let's slap a roof on this bad boy here. Excellent. So at least now the meat that we managed to secure is not gonna not gonna spoil. Delicious rat meat. Yummy. Morale's not looking too bad. Okay, we got 366 wood. This is good. This is excellent. What shall we do? Let's slap down some more pallets so to better organize this place. Storage, large pallet out of wood. Storage here all. Here we can have textiles, hides. No hides here. Textiles there. And then let's get another one going like immediately. Back two more. We can do weapons and apparel here. Then items here. Just so I've got nothing just lying on the bloody floor. Then we'll put one final one down near the butchery spot. All the bones will go from everything that we butcher. Is it all critical? All weapons and apparel. Apparel there. No items here either, because this is going to be clear or critical items, buildings. Manufactured? No. Okay, that should help a lot, organizing. In the next set of wood, we can chuck down two more pellets. Well, no, let's get the tanning vats going, but for the tanning, before I do tanning, I need to then stop producing tanning liquor. Yeah, yeah boy, this new expansion is going to be so good. Very much looking forward to doing a uh, Viking playthrough. Could do some pretty interesting stuff with the ideology with Vikings. Okay, quick rough and ready little kitchen and butchery area. Put down those cheap wooden floorboards, what are they called? Firewood panels. They're just little temporary placeholders until we can get enough stone cut up. Put down flagstones. 
I think we'll, we'll keep using bones for all the outdoor walkways temporarily. Wait a second. And so, so make green lumber. This number should actually be around, uh, what, 80? Because each of these drying racks holds 75. So you only... You, all, you only always have enough on hand to fill the next one. But then it tends to not take up too much time. 704 wood, we could do better with that. You can hardly see them, but the grape plants are down. Awesome. So almost all of the sewing is done. Uh, Griff. Just want Griff to finish sowing that bit of heel root and then he can go back to hunting. That turkey. Go get that turkey. Where is it? I really don't want to take any more damage here. I don't want any more injured colonists. Good boys. Uh, where are my corpses getting stored here? See, now the labs are eating the fresh animals, which I don't want them doing. Hmm. Uh, meat hooks out of steel. I think I'll do the meat hooks out of iron. So right next to the, the butcher's block here, we can put those corpses. Sandstone door. Shouldn't have been sandstone. Whoops. Well, I suppose I'm going to leave them open anyway, so it doesn't matter. I thought it was wood that I was making those doors out of. What ifs? Uh, Judas, you should be cooking. Why are you building? Because we are out of meat. No, we've got plenty of meat. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Right, yeah. So, uh, furniture, wall lamp. Arguably, that's a waste of steel, but ah, whatever. A dirty kitchen here. Just clear all little bone. And modern, I just need a hundred and fifty iron, then I can make two iron meat hooks to hang the corpses on. Probably a better idea to keep the corpses on a pallet, but I mean, the little iron hooks are made for that and they look pretty cool. I mean, also they won't be refrigerated if I put them here, the corpses that is, but I don't think it's a big problem. I don't expect the corpses to hang for long enough that they're going to go spoil. Ok. 
Okay. Spoiler. Untipped. Griff, what's upsetting you? Your recreation starved. Shouldn't persist for too much longer. Give Griff some extra chill time. Uh, Danny's doing okay with the stone chipping. Keep that going. Wood. I'm gonna have to send a bunch of the lads to actually go do some wood chopping. Who's gonna do the wood chopping? Griff. looking better there we go probably come clean up on you when you're done mate will you very dirty yikes burning it sick oh but that's the butchery area of course clean Anyway, honestly, I don't know where my iron works is going to be, but for the moment, put the iron here, the textiles, iron. Bang. Need 150. Oh, I don't know why are you resting now at seven o'clock. What is going on with your body clock, my man? I think he got stuck mining for too long. Yeah, once we give him a pickaxe, then it's not going to be an issue. We'll be able to mine a lot quicker. Hundred and fifty-two iron, perfect. Storage, iron meat hook. Yes, critical. Allow all, only fresh. So now freshly hunted corpses should get hung up here on the meat hook. You know what, if we get a trader coming through here, I may even sell uh, most of these Labradors pretty quick. I mean, four soon to be more it could get out of hand really quick and feeding them in winter could be a challenge Griff Yeah, so let's clear the animal area. I want to make sure the animals can't get in where my food is being kept right now. Good. In fact, we can actually forbid the animals to set foot here because later on we have some grazing animals. I don't want the animals eating my crops. Huskies make the best dogs. Yeah, I kind of don't really want dogs. Like, I mean, if I want a fighting animal, I want wargs. But I kind of don't really... Mm, or bears. I remember having a playthrough where I was able to have grizzly bears. Uh, Stobby's yeoman ceremony. Yes, good. Got my throne room. Remember at one point I had a colony of like... I had like 20 bears. 
And then my lads would ride into battle on the back of bears. Amazing. Oh yeah, what do we get? What is this shit? Chunk chip. Skip the five chunks of rock or slag to scatter them near the target point. Useful for producing cover during offensive operations. How does this work? Oh, it moves ch chips, stone chips around. Okay, wait, what? Weird. I suppose that's decent for producing cover in a pinch. Yeah, chunk teleport. Uh, the, the one I always hope for that I never seem to get is the uh, word of trust. The one to like instantly remove, what, 50 resistance? Oh, buffalo. Yum, yum. Oh, Griff, are you still busy cutting trees down? Ah, huzzah! Our first harvest is in. I don't want to get everybody doing the harvest. Potatoes! Potatoes. You know, boil them, cook them, stick them in a stew. Let's get this freezer going. The brewery can wait, that's for sure. <laughs> Muff so yum yum. Easy. Never mind, it's not Twitch. YouTube. You won't get banned for saying a naughty word and given your own category for, you know. I shouldn't get started on that whole rant. It is annoying. Okay, I want to get like 2,000 wood logs. Is I'm gonna have Griff do something else. I think he's turning wood logs into lumber. It does take a lot of effort. Look at Martin go. What a legend. Storage, uh, raw meat, uh, raw vegetari vegetarian. Let's actually wait with the muffler hunting until this fridge is built. And I need more cold crystals. I need six cold crystals. But if I can get an entire ho uh, herd of muffler slaughtered and chopped up and thrown in the freezer, that is going to be gigantic for us. I can also produce kibble then. Feed the old Labrador horde. There are, there are some mods in this game where, like, once you play with them, you wonder how you could ever survive without them. And for me, the this, this storage mod is one of those mods. Priceless. I want to get more wood and faster. I mean, I think it takes about, what, how much wood does it take to... Plywood is the cheapest wood floor we can throw down, and it takes how much? 220. 220 wood per room. What are the other options? Well, we could use hay, but hay, steel is too expensive. Steel, sandstone, blocks. It takes, what, 400 blocks to do one of these rooms? Ugh, no. Uh, 
and I don't see it as a game balance issue at, at, at all because I mean it, before using these pallets like if you want to store a bunch of food you need just so much space it's just this giant AoE it just looks terrible if you think it, it, it fixed the balance too much my suggestion is try it but then just tweak the values uh, you can tweak the uh, stack limit so instead of having 80 stacks it, it can be much less than that food meat important important clear all vegetarian meat and vegetarian that's true not exactly competitive at all very good point it's meant to be fun isn't it Okay, Marden, I was going to say, good, he should be stone chipping. The lack of a decent miner is actually hurting us, but it's not like we're playing as mole men or anything. Need a place to haul the cold crystal. Modern, your recreation is fine. Do the other one, please. It's a lot of mining. I'm gonna piss him off. That's two o'clock. It's plenty of time. Cool. So that's all the cold crystals we need now for the freezer. If anything uh, breaks balance, it's these cold crystals. But I'm happy to use them. Whatever. Uh, okay, so let's see. These lamps are getting built. Therefore, muffalo hunting season. Oh, we've got to be ready to have the whole colony spring up in defense of the hunters. Because if that entire herd gets aggro, it could be a little scary. Look at the temperature in here, 16. Have we put a roof in here yet? Have. Temperature should drop pretty quickly down to list below zero. Nice, so walk-in fridge. Does this need to be here? The meat right here. I mean, that far to go to get meat there. We could go fine meals, lavish meals here, simple meals there. Yeah. Our first muffalo. And that's doubly good as well because I want to use all that muffalo, uh, that, that heavy leather. The thick leather, it's thick leather. The blue leather. We can make a leather armor out of that for our uh, melee fighters. And they're going to look that he's spiffing in their blue armor as well. Righto. Yeah, let's start keeping all the medicine there. Right, time to build out our next room. We finish off the brewery. Why not? Brewery isn't a gigantic priority right now, but it will be good to have it done. And to be fair, I, I do have uh, some wine coming in soon. It's all ready to grow, not yet. Probably should have done hops.
Yeah, so I think we'll do these two of cotton. We'll do this one of cotton and then do a full field of hops. Have, a, have, a, have enough beer get us through the winter. Right, let's go grab all these berries real quick. And that'll allow us to make some, uh, some fine meals. What are the orders currently? Simple meals do until you have... Let's see, there's five of us, so let's say 50, 10 each, because they can sit in the freezer for Asia, so that's good. Fine meal. Don't use smoked meat. Don't use grapes. Perfect. Don't use animal products. Uh, no. Why is the meat getting dropped there? It should be getting dropped here. This is vegetarian. This is meat. Excellent. Brewery. Wood. Fermenting barrels. Wood. Although, no, I don't have steel for that. Curses. I'm going to have to do a bloomery first and see. Uh, no, this brewery needs steel in any case. Well, it's there. It's ready to go. This was going to be a barracks. Let's get a barracks down then first. Okay, so bathroom there in the corner. Toilet there. Actually, I like having like I want to get 20 pawns and typically I would do gigantic barracks but I think this actually having the smaller barracks could work out nicely then you can separate people that don't get along you can separate the day shift from the night shift they give less disturbed sleep debuffs I guess we're making the beds out of bone then. Uh, let's do double beds. Just on the assumption that uh, I want to cater for couples potentially. Feels a bit scuffed. I don't like that. Don't Is it a little too cramped? No, because that dresser should give comfort to all three of these beds. This is so cramped. That's no good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's potentially eighteen people can sleep in there. We need half of that in here. I only have to do four of these beds, each of these barracks. You think this? That dresser should cover. There and do table. What do wardrobes do? They don't give any comfort, I don't think. Right. Excellent. Two, four, six, eight, sixteen people. Kind of dead area here. I suppose this is all space to put down artwork.
And we know how much the lads love a good table. They got somewhere to sit in here. So why not just do that in the middle of the barracks? So non-couples can be assigned to sleep together in a bed, but they don't like it. We can put busts artwork over there. Um, I don't think I'm going to put leisure activities in here. We can make like a games room. I think the throne room can be here, but see, I'm on top of this bloody geezer. Hmm. Where's blueprints, by the way? Action planning. Oh, that's right. Um, I was going to say I should put the pathing hate over the crops so that the horns don't walk over the crops, but they're not going to be doing that. Blueprints. Great to blueprint. Save as barracks. We can just do like that. Bang. And we can say forbid it. So we're ready to build the second barracks. We can just give the order. Cool. What I do wish I could do is like give a room like a label, you know, so I know I can remind myself what I'm putting where. Where do we put the smithy, I wonder? Be like a games room. This could be built into a room and I can do like crops all around it. Mm. Putting the crops in the middle is kind of scuffed. I think like if, if that if these here, these five were the crops, and all these buildings here. Because then you can put you can make it all more central. Oh well. Let's start planning the throne room as well. Throne room and royal apartments. I'm gonna pause. I don't want them actually to start doing any of this yet. halfway here. Uh, I'll make like a safe room as well. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Airborne. That is normally how I would do it, but I, just, just for the sake of doing things differently. I quickly want to show you my, my usual base setup. Let's go YouTube campaign, which is Stobland. So check out uh, Stobia, which is, this is what I've been playing offline. Like every time I think of how I want to make a base and like my favorite base layout, it's always what I've done here. It's not very creative. It's all very blocky and very Soviet in its design. But it is super effective. When it comes time to the big update and my next big playthrough, I might do some research before the time in for base layout. I've seen some amazing circular base layouts, but they seem like a lot of work to plan. This is my usual base layout. It's in like this crab uh, formation here. So you have butchery, uh, kitchen, a nice big freezer. You've got a uh, brewery area here, and this can become the lab for drug production as well. It's your uh, fermenting area. Here you can start storing all your drugs. That's what everyone eats. They come in, they come in here, they grab a meal, they sit down, they eat, they get a beer, they, and then they go out. Uh, this will get built through into a guest area. These are all guest beds. Um, bathrooms here, entertainment. So the guests can have a place to go to the loo and they can have a place to have fun. This, I'm going to knock all that through. That's that's the throne room. This is the royal apartments here. A little safe room. Well, that's uh, the royal bed. Research room. This is extra storage for non-perishables. -perishable, and you've got high-quality crops inside the wall here. Uh... The, the, this I like doing, which I don't know what I'm going to do now in the current playthrough. 
this is like one it's 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 like a giant like a prison barracks slash uh workshop you've got wood production textile production an indoor uh, brick making operation they dig up clay and sand here drop it on these pallets the, the bricks get formed here they then get dropped here into the kilns then the, then the fired bricks get dropped here stone chipping is over here smelting is here smithing is here corpse freezer uh prison toilets prison seating area and then because the prisoners are basically inside your uh, your working area they can do all these jobs because this whole three three block area is all prison barracks and here you have like a main barracks for your people all gonna be double beds eventually this will become all artwork in the middle to make it fancy two pallets for storing of clothing for them they have their own bathrooms this is the hospital another big barracks so you can have I think like 10 people there 10 people there and then two there you know the royals royals total of 22. We've got this inner keep here so these are all embrasures and walls uh, and then this light blue is going to be a moat eventually and then you've got outer outer low wall which I've taken the trouble of making it 30 tiles away because the composite longbow can shoot 31 tiles. So your lads can sit here with their longbows and take pot shots at enemies running along the walls trying to get to the open bit. And then you've got like, you know, normal crops over here. And then all this is unworked land. That's all grazing land for your animals. And then you can put your windmills and your plumbing stuff over here. Plumb the whole area. You see how I treat the prisoners too well, which is fair enough. But I mean, you, you, you get the most out of them if you treat them well. And they actually, I mean, I could, because I want to be converting my prisoners, at least in the beginning, until I get up to 20 to 40 pawns, depending on how many I want. But that, that base struggles to support more than 20 people. I mean, once I have my 20 colonists, then I'm, you know, much happy just to have these prisoners and just basically work them to death. But because you don't have the luxury of, of a nutrient paste dispenser, having, you know, 20 to 40 pawns plus prisoners, you need two or three chefs working full time just to feed everybody. Here we're going to do similar with the inner keep setup with the moat around it. But then the outer walls are going to be kind of ad hoc. Although I wanted to experiment to see if I build a wall right along the edge. Will all the enemies spawn outside that wall? Because if that's the case, then we can build a wall over here. Then they have to spawn on this side of the map, and then I can just build a bridge. So all the all, all the enemies that come to will have to file over this one little bridge. All under fire. Temperature. How are these plants coming along? And then hopefully during winter I can uh, till the fields to increase fertility because it's 100%. We are going to go farm field. It takes a lot of work to, to build them, but it increases fertility by 20%. And it's a once-off thing that uh, ups your farm production quite a lot. Oh, I love this game. It's so good. And this is so much less stressful than playing bloody Battle Brothers. Uh, should we start moving people in here? Let's finish the whole barracks first. Ship to the stars, pristine ruins, never mind that. Oh, look at all this heavy pelt. That is wonderful. Five hundred, so it's eighty leather per leather armor. We can already make quite a few. All right, I want to start getting the leather tanning going. Build a copy. Oh, wait, but I want uh, the lumber to get stored there. 
And this little stove is only going to make tanning liquor, which it gets left there. So when someone is making hides, they only have to go that far to get tanning liquor. Make these vats out of bone because I don't want to be using lumber now. Oh yeah, hang on. We were busy planning the royal apartments, weren't we? Let's just see. So I'll put the bed. Bedside table, big bed. Bedside table. Although, if I want to make a safe room, I can't have the second bedside table there. It's awfully cramped for a royal area, for a royal room. Bedside table, big bed. Bedside table. Yeah, they just put the loo next to the bath there. Yes, I have. I've played and finished Darkest Dungeon. There's a Darkest Dungeon playlist uh, on the YouTube channel if you're interested. Uh, it was one of my better playthroughs. Absolutely loved it. One of the best games ever made. We'll bid this for now. Yeah, so we need to get stone chipping going again. This is going to mean having everybody just quickly haul, haul some stone. Thanks, yeah. Spell force zero, in 0 0.2 days. I think it's probably still fine. Uh, let's go soldier and soldier. See if these guys actually put on some of this armor because there's light plate helmet. But it is tainted, so. What are you busy with? Oh, yeah, everyone's going to be hauling chunks now, but I think that's fine, honestly. Sweet. Couple hundred raw meat. Nice little stack of potatoes. Corn. Rokam. Preparing for a while, then they will attack. Where are they? It's a fair few lads. But only one archer, and I've got three good archers. I don't foresee any issues there, really. Um, only one muffalo left. Wow. I need to make sure there aren't any dead muffalo just lying on the ground anyway. Nice. And I need to give the deconstruct order for all of this lumber. Temporarily, I'm going to expand the home zone here to where we're doing all this hauling. I don't want the lads straying out of that area and, as I say, blundering into these enemies. Man, there's a lot of hostiles coming at us. I really want to ramp up the stone production so I can get my outer walls built. Oh, I need to get the leather tanning going, you know, as soon as possible. Get some leather armor for my frontline guys. In fact, for everybody, I suppose. This 
this a second group of raiders? Oh, good lord. I've actually never had two groups of raiders arrive at the same time. Shit. Fighting off that second attack is going to be challenging. Get on, boys. I hope they flee once this guy goes down. Fleeing quickly, everybody. Griff, where are you going? Gathering sandstone. Looks like it was only Judas who was wounded in that fight. Oh god, here comes the next assault right away. Morden, Griff, and Danny. This, I don't know why the game does that sometimes. It shows the AoE. I think that's the AoE that I can attack at. I don't know how to make it go away other than saving and reloading. Any good stat boys worth capturing? We'll take a look in a sec. Set my alarm. I need to stop at nine o'clock, which is half an hour's time. I don't actually have a, a, a prison area yet, but we can quite easily make one of those one of those rooms prisoner. Wait, I gave the order to finish that one prisoner off. Well, I'm gonna have to finish this one off. I think I did already. Yeah. If there's any survivors from the next group? I mean, I don't have time to capture them. And uh, fun-loving snob who's incredible crafter. He would have been an awesome blacksmith, but. There's another attack coming right away. Three archers. Sorry about this, Judas, but you got to get back on your feet right away. I'm going to fucking grab this guy. He'll be such a good blacksmith. And, uh... Let me keep him, though. I think I can make this a prison barracks, can I? Don't do that. Dobby, go capture Yak. Excuse me. Under fire! Get him! That he shot me. Oof, ow. Excellent, they're fleeing. Another survivor, what do we have here? Toe cut off. Creepy breathing, fast walking cat person. Oh, awesome, we'll have, have purple as well.
Hopefully that's two new colonists. The 25 medicines. Quite low on meds. Um, I did do the corpse freezer, right? I can get these corpses hauled ASAP. I'm them lying around out in the open, freaking out my colonists. What I could also do is I could put doors joining these rooms and then turn this whole run here into like a prison area. But honestly, I think if I just, even if they do nothing else other than do the, the tanning here of this leather, that'll be great. Let's see what they can actually do. They can both craft, so that's good. Place clean. On cutting is not going to help really much. The fact that they can cook is good. That means that they can produce their own tanning liquor. But for that, they're going to need lumber. Turn this into important. Just a small one that's critical. Does tanning liquor take lumber or does it take wood logs? I hope it's logs. Work and recruit. Recruit. Stobby, your main job now. To chat to these lads. It's decent timing because then I'm almost ready to move the lads out. Put mod in there. And roof there. 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 All right. Good. Oh, good lord, lads! Lads are still bleeding. That's no good. Any who's the other person who's bleeding? Right, everyone tended. Excellent. The fact that we're getting attacked so much, could where the fuck did these bricks come from? Uh <laughs> it must be a safe file thing. Because they seem to be <laughs> exactly on the map where they were for the last save file. That is so strange. So Marden is jealous of Danny's room. What? Good God, lads. Get off my ass. Martin, what are you up to? Eating a fine meal. Then he's going to keep building this barracks, which I suppose is fine. What I need him is to get these built. But it's just one lad. Can't be just one lad. Just one lad. Go kite him. Hmm. Third prisoner, potentially. Negative. What's he brought us? A good steel gladius and a good steel cutlass. Awesome. Wait a second. Why were we feeding the prisoners? Fine meals. Um, default prisoner food should be simple. Uh, also, I, I can have these prisoners recycling painted clothing. Are all 
Michael painted. So I don't think any of them can do. I think it's tailoring that falls under. Okay, so what do we do with these patch patchwork rolls? I suppose I can get them as being for guests. Yeah, let's not get some guests around here. They're gonna hate it, but we get to have them around. Yeah, allow sowing of corn. Excellent. Whoa, no, 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 this is all wrong, hang on. Orders. Orbit. Modern, I appreciate your up and atom attitude, but oh, damn it, not now. I need that bone. We've stabilized decent, decently. Decent stabilizing. Got both freezers up. Uh, lumber production is coming along decently. Just need these bone vats now to get going. Stun a gladiator to move my guy away. He was about to die, but the stun guy went down. For him, and I didn't notice. Oh, lol. Yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of Battle Brothers is pretty much just like chess, isn't it? And I can't affect the prisoners' rules, can I? Uh, finish doing this please modern uh, prepare any hide whatever only in this radius now we may have a bunch of other hide as well but I think I want the the heavy pelt get done first and foremost Order the prisoners to do this. Crafting not assigned. Yak and purple. Craft. They are assigned. I think it's tailoring that they need to be doing. It's not gonna work. I think loading stuff in here counts as brewing, unfortunately. It's gonna be tough to make them work just in this room. 26 resistance, that's an awful lot. Food stocks are looking good. Seems to recall there was another muffler. There we go, and it went down. Boiling in seven hours. Someone go grab that immediately. Heavy, what? Hey, quickly, quickly, it's going to spoil. I actually need Modern to chill with the building for a little bit just so he can go deconstruct those buildings. Get that lumber for us. Excellent. 
Right. This needs to be critical. Or critical. Uh, tanning liquor. I'm missing a steel, footy steel. That's not surprising. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to move the entertainment area into the barracks. And then put a stone smelting, uh, stone smelting, steel smelting operation over there. I'm a fast elf. Production melter over here and a bloomery there. Storage bone can go there. How are we doing medically? Is everybody been treated and is healing up? Excellent. If you look at the world we're on, it's no wonder we're getting attacked every bloody two minutes. We are right in the middle of all of these aggressive <laughs> areas, it's no wonder. Well, if we can fight them off, it's for the best. It's gonna mean a lot of prisoners. Berries. I should use these bricks, but I suppose I'm just going to store the bricks kind of where they are right now. We are going to have a brick making operation somewhere. Maybe in this corner we can do a brick making operation. I don't think I need all this storage here. This can be for a second type of stone. Just for my own planning, I want to go, let's see, so, clay pit there, and then you need two drying racks there, three primitive kilns go there, and then crafting spots, you can put there and there. Bricks can, the fired bricks can get dropped there. Storage, and then small pallets for, uh, what do you need? You need sand and you need clay. Sand and clay there. It's formed into wet bricks, which get put there to be dried. But we'll figure it all out. I've got bigger stuff to worry about now. I've got another bloody attack coming. Cassiano. All right, everybody's healed up. Just in time for the next attack to start soon. Of course, Cassiano, I'm, I'm totally accustomed to it. Uh, the first thing I always get asked is, when is the next Battle Brothers playthrough? And then I feel bad because I don't want to do Battle Brothers again. Jugust. We're just starting these corn. I don't know if they're going to be growing, if they're going to make it all the way through. Might have to harvest them early. Eighteen meals in total, but that's okay.
Uh, storage, coal, bone. That's going to be coal, that's going to be iron ore, and that'll be refined steel will go there. Okay, lads, the assault is coming. Get him! Get him, lads. These spears that the guys have are actually pretty damn deadly. Well, that's right. Speaking of weapons, there I think there's a steel cutlass and a steel... It's... 805 damage log spear 735 okay so the cutlass is superior and there should be a gladius as well steel gladius 8.29 excellent so modern forget the spear put that instead yeah put that instead Kenshi, no, that's been suggested a couple times. I, I took a look at a let's play of it, and um, it just looks too ugly. I, I can't see myself ever playing it. It's one of those older games. It, it, it looks like visually, it looks on par with the original Mountain Blade, which was great and everything. But yikes! Okay. 12 minutes and I've got to stop. Clear all critical iron ore. No, let's say don't store iron ore here. Iron ore. And if I'm going to smelt iron into steel, let's find some coal around here. So basically you need to harvest two coal for every for every one block of iron. That's nine iron, so we gotta find eighteen coal here somewhere. Uh is that twenty-one? Uh, that's eighteen. Good. When is Modern actually going to do mining? When he doesn't have any building left to do? What is building for him to do? Um, God, I wish these lads could do some stone cutting for me. I really can't. Who's my stone cutter? It's Danny. Who's been doing a lot of growing and harvesting. Cotton's almost ready to get brought in. Research request, we can't do that. Ooh, alpacas, get them. Good job, everyone. Comedy is coming along nicely. I want to get this here built so that I can uh, hopefully get these prisoners doing treating of this stuff. Okay, smelt from slag, smelt weapon, and refined steel. Forever, forever, forever. little crate with the weapons on is there so it doesn't have to go much further than that it's gonna be nice and close as well 
Smelt steel until you have, I think, 700. Two small stockpiles. I hold three, what? I hold 375 each. Stealth force. No kidding. Oh, that playthrough, um, that wasn't, that wasn't dwarves, no. Regular colonists. Wait a second. Why are human-like being kept on the meat hooks? That is grim. Get that shit off there. That is so horrible. <laughs> Hanging corpses on the meat hooks in the butchery. <laughs> Yikes. They're attacking immediately. This is... A lot of them as well. Oh. Well, the hide around the corner tactic has worked nicely. I really I need these bloody prisoners to join us, man. Got problems. Get him, lads. Oh, ow. We're using some pretty dangerous weapons here. Yes, get out of here, nerds. And run. I was going to say, don't even bother chasing him. What kind of is... Do... Stealthy, absent-minded insomniac. Murdered. Well, so far we're doing a bloody good job at defending the base. That cougar is potentially going to give us a problem. Just hunt it. Make sure it doesn't attack one of our uh, dogs. Or one of our colonists. Well, that's unfortunate timing. Man hunting desert tortoises. How many of them? Three of them. They'll be fine. Where are they? Let's get over there. Get over there so we can kite these things back to the base. Shit, I don't have anyone who can actually heal. Let me get back there. Actually, airborne, and the enemy corpses will not be getting the fire pit treatment. They will be getting uh, the stacked up high into the freezer to let the dogs eat you treatment. So, all the Labrador Retrievers we have in our base might look like innocent little cute labs, but they are man eaters. This reminds me of that scene in Austin Powers where he's driving towards the guy with the steamroller. It's coming at us! It's a desert tortoise. Run! It's barely moving.
Okay. Wounds treated. Excellent. So we've made a little progress in this last stream. A little like to have made more. I mean, we did get the kitchen and the butchery set up. The freezer as well. Wait a second. Why are those not getting put away properly? Come on, lads. You're better than this. There you go. We got the walk-in freezer. Well, the, uh, the, the mini food freezer and the walk-in freezer done. The brewery is almost ready to go. Nice. Our first Hildwood crop is coming in. Our first barracks is almost ready. We've got two prisoners who hopefully will be joining us. At some point. Eleven yummy corpses for our dogs. Uh, animals. Okay, so if they are going to eat these corpses, they need to be able to get in. Oh, I could have just built the entrance out there back, but eh, whatever. We'll keep an eye. We'll see if any of the dogs pop in for a little man flesh. Uh, I think we're not going to re sow. It's towards the end of summer. I don't see us having enough time. I can maybe do like a rice crop after this cotton crop but I don't think it's gonna be done quick enough there's no way that these grapes are gonna be done in time hopefully we can just get something out of them we could do hops we could do hops here definitely hops are only five days Martin is starving Go eat you fool So defensive structures wise, well, the the main is the embrasures. You see this blue line here, this is going to be the inner keep. I'm going to alternate embrasures and solid walls. And then we're going to build a bigger uh, wall around the outside. So the embrasures are the main one. Security wise, you have a straight barricade, which I haven't actually used before. The bear trap is like a cheaper, less effective steel trap. Cavalry spikes, but I haven't actually been attacked by cavalry yet. Earthen mounds, cover for gunfire. Reinforced ditch I haven't actually built before. Obstructs movement, which is deeper to make anyone or anything hard to cross over. Okay, that's cool. And then there's also an order where you can... Here we go, dig terrain and fill terrain. You can dig... We can keep digging down. It takes a lot of work, though. But eventually, we can... Um, oh, I need to go. Uh, we're going to dig a moat along the outside of the inner keep. And then later on in the tech here, there's siege equipment. You can build ballistae and catapults. Which are going to be pretty important when it's time to attack uh, enemy, enemy bases. Okay, so we've made a bit of progress this little session, which I'm quite pleased about. Just make sure all these human corpses get hauled into the freezer. One thing I do wish is that there could be a better way to control um, uh, the, the diet of your animals. Like you could tell them, you know, force them to only eat corpses. I don't think there's a policy I can set though. I don't know of. Three, Dean. It's going to take a little while. Let's strip down the corpses. I would assume so, yeah, Cassiano. I would assume so. Okay, thank goodness. I shouldn't watch this heal root getting healed in and then we'll call it a call it a session. God, I love Rimworld, it's so good. So now Danny, who's supposed to be cutting stone blocks, is doing a lot of time in the fields, but I mean these are the last crops of the season pretty much. of Jugust. I mean, fall is just going to start now. It's probably not even worth even trying to get this corn. 
I should replant that all. Potatoes are 5.8 days. We can we can get another potato crop going, but there's there's no way the corn is ready in time. I have done it through area allowance, yeah. I was hoping there was a policy way of doing it though. I've created an animals only zone. And given them a, a little passage through here into the freezer. Remember how frustrating it used to be before I knew that I could do that. It would be so annoying having your animals uh, go into uh, your area and they would just drink all the beer and then you'd come and find your, your, your dog is completely pissed. Drunk all your beer and then it develops cirrhosis and dies. And bloody dogs. Oh yeah, so one of these squares is going to be a barn. I can easily house 20 animals in one of these squares. In fact, with fall just starting now, let's just try rice. Let's not even bother. It's a particularly cold fall. Tough. Uh, yeah, I've done that there. You did like that. But like animal, let's see. So, photo and alert is on. All oh, right, I haven't actually used this. Emergency on. I haven't used that before. Which policies to new pawns? Uh, I've got to figure that out. Anyway. But just restricting the movements of the animals works fine. So we can only start producing tanning liquor here once I've got steel going. So steel is going to be the next priority when we come back. And who is my tailor? Eight. It's Danny. Because I'm sitting on all this. Actually, I've got the cotton hasn't come in yet. I need all this cotton to be harvested to make uh, tukes and parkas for everyone. So but before I go, let's quickly just re uh, reinstall this here. Whoopsie, because of course the colonists are eating over here. just the start of fall now. I don't know if it's even worth trying to get this rice crop going. Yeah, you're right. Mental breaks. We're doing well so far. I haven't had to make anybody animal starvation. Shouldn't be the case. Go eat some. Let's see. Go eat a corpse. He really should eat a corpse. Uh, vegetables, raw meat, corpses. Yeah. Ah, there he goes. Yum, 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 yum. Ha, ha, ha. Lovely man flesh. And on that note, on another little uh, Geneva Convention violation, let's call that a stream. Thanks for watching, lads. I shall see you on Sunday night. We will keep feeding the corpses of our fallen enemies to our dogs. But as far as priorities goes for the next stream, it's to get the steel production going. And I actually... I wonder if it's, should I, should I move the prisoners? They can maybe get, well, once I get the brickworks built, we can start housing prisoners in here because I think they will mine and they will actually make bricks. Because eventually I want to build all of my structures out of brick. I think it's 510 and it's decent in terms of looks. And that lets you use uh, all of these stone blocks for, uh, for paving. Right, thanks for watching friends. I'll see you all on Sunday.